<laughs> hey y'all, my name is Nika and I would like to welcome you to Back to My Roots Homestead Firsts Chai Chat. Okay guys, we need to talk. We need to have a conversation. A big conversation. Um, I gotta show you something. Hold on. See that? That's not negative eight. No, I don't. No, that's not negative eight. That's eight below zero. A few uh, hours ago, it was 11 below zero. And a few weeks ago, it was 15 below zero. Now, that is without the wind chill factor, okay? You put in the wind chill factor, and it makes it feel as if it is 20 below. Um, a few weeks ago, it made it feel as if it was 35 below. And for those of whom who live in an area where you use Celsius, I think eight below Fahrenheit is equal to 22 below or negative 22. I don't know how you guys say it. Ne I don't know. But yeah, minus two, two point something, something, something. That is the temperature here. Why is that important? I'm going to tell you why that's important because I've lived in Minnesota for a while. I've lived here for a while and I lived in an urban setting. So I would get up, I would get bundled and I would wait for a bus and a little alcove deal and you press a button and a heat lamp came on or I would cuddle up in someone's doorway or behind someone's car whatever it is so I can make it to work or just mad dash it to my car or warm that sucker up and, and get it done but that's in the city okay there are structures and different options for you everywhere no 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 not in the country no that wind comes off of the field and punches you in the gut because it can okay because it can <laughs> i did not know this i didn't know it and the sad part about it is there are other people around me either in the state or the state next to me that are experiencing it or experiencing worse weather than i am oh my god Wow. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But there's a blessing and a lesson in that. And what it is is, thank the almighty Lord, I don't have animals. Simple as that. Because I'm trying to tell you, if I had animals, um, yeah, I would have quail sickles, chick sickles, goat sickle, pig sickles. All of them would be frozen right now because I don't know if I have the tenacity to face the wind that blows through this town. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't, I don't think I have it yet. I think I may need to take a couple of years and rethink the whole animal situation. Cause right now, the reason why these animals are alive is cause they're not here on this homestead. Cause girlfriend was not going to face it. Now I have purchased several different uh, thermometers to put in that little area in the barn. I have yet to go out there and put them. Mm, running out of tea. I have yet to do that because I'm not going out there unless I have to. Mm -mm. I'm not going. No, not going to do it. Yeah, not going to do it. So, um, That's what I have learned in my homesteading journey is that when it co comes to cold temps, I am a wimp, all right? I am a true unadulterated wimp, all right? I, that's it. So I need to be hardened off. <laughs> I need to be hardened off because I'm trying to tell you if I had the ability to have chickens right now, I would have. If I, I, I probably would have waited on goats, but I would have chickens or I would have quail or I would have rabbit rabbits and those poor creatures would have just perished okay 
Now, that was the one lesson I learned. Second lesson I learned thus far in my homesteading um, journey since October is this. Seed catalogs. Have you guys gotten them? Yeah. Well, here's the thing. I went with my little notebook and a pen and sat down when it was all quiet with a nice little cup of tea and started jotting down all the seeds I wanted and then the prices and the reason why I wanted them is because I wanted to grow these because I've never seen them before in the grocery store. I've never experienced the taste of these things and how awesome would that be and just be excited about it and all, you know, just the whole deal. And then I took my little calculator and I calculated the total. It was $250 and something odd cents worth of seeds. <laughs> Not gonna happen. Nobody to I mean, For real. <laughs> now, I have heard how people get excited about these seed catalogs, but nobody told me that seeds can break the bank and here's the thing like I'm not trying to get all extra extravagant here no 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 not ex I'm a first-time gardener I would never ever do that but think about it like I would like some herbs okay I was like well you know basil a few types of oregano parsley uh cilantro and um cumin okay I'm just throwing it out there or thyme or whatever. So right there, that's about five or six, right? Five or six different. It, that could easily be like 16 to $20 worth of seeds just on herbs alone, let alone me trying to grow tomatoes and some peppers and some lettuce. Oh my goodness, guys. I, woo. Yeah, it was, it's, <laughs> but um, no, I'm not asking you to send me any seeds. No, 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 no. What I'm asking or what I'm telling you is that, yeah, that that was that was an interesting realization knowing how seed catalogs can kind of dip into your pocketbook deeply. And that's not even trying to find, you know, the fruit bushes or the fruit trees that can grow in my zone. Not at all. This is just simply trying to get myself a salad and maybe some salsa. <laughs> yeah, two hundred dollars worth. Now, I did find one um, outlet to get, you know, really good seeds. And that's like in my gardener. I think he sells seeds for 99 cents a pack. And so that has helped a lot to to like chisel at this huge price I was looking for. But not so much, but just enough um, to make this somewhat feasible. Now, I know I am a beginner gardener and... It's like, you know, do small your garden, you do small. But I'm from the I'm from the school where I'm either going to go big and put 110% of my effort in it or I'm going to go home. Now listen, I am home. So, I'm going to go big. I'm going to go big. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And if I fail, that's going to be a good thing because I'm going to learn from it. I'm going to learn from it and I'm going to share it with you guys about this failure cuz I'm going to document it. You're going to see it. You're going to see it all. But yeah, that's Number, the second thing I learned was about these seed catalogs. And I find it completely and totally hilarious that I imagine it. Uh, I spent like 200 bucks, 250 in my mind for these darn seeds. That's funny. Um, <laughs> It reminds me of my dad. I, ha I have to tell you about my dad. He would watch the home um, shopping network for hours for hours and I never understood it. And then one day I was like, dad, why are you watching a whole shopping channel or network? And he'd say, I just look, see that, see that little doohickey thing that, you know, does this. I'm not buying that. And I saved myself four easy payments of $29.95. <laughs> you know what I mean? He was that type of guy. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to look at it as, um, bargain shopping for seeds. But if you guys know of any other place other than uh, in my gardener that offers cheap non-GMO, you know, heirloom seeds, just, you know, let me know. Either uh, make place a comment below or shoot me an email at www. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> shoot me an email at backtomyrootshomestead.com. I do not have a website. I don't need one. All right. Now, um, 
Yeah, that was pretty much it on the learning curve here at the homestead. Let me tell you what's coming up next. Last tip. Um, this weekend, come hell or high water, I am going to get that root cellar cleaned out. I've got all the materials I need. It's just the purpose of going. It's just not the purpose. It's just getting the time um, to have someone, you know, my husband mainly, look after the little one while I go down there and just take care of that. And another thing that should be coming is my um, worm compost or my worm bin. The problem I'm having with that is um, they, there is a lot of seasonal uh, bait, I guess, places here. There's a lot of fishing and, and hunting that goes on, but it's seasonal. So in my area, I can't really find uh, a ready source of red wigglers or European night crawlers or whatever. I cannot find composting worms up here. And uh, there were two places. One place I called and left a message, never got back to me. Another place I called, no pickup. So I guess I have to find that post it and call again to see if they are open and if I can pick them up. The reason why I'm afraid or I'm steering clear of things being mailed to me is like I said at the beginning, if I can't survive eight below temps, I'm pretty sure these worms aren't going to be able to make it either. Okay. And <laughs> how awesome would that be? You know, the guy finally shows up at my door and I unopen a, a, a worm sickle. Just no. Or unless there's some type of uh, break in this madness where um, the temps would allow for, you know, the worms to be done by mail or uh, held at the post office. Maybe I should do that. Maybe I should speak to my local postmaster and see if they will hold the worms if they are alive in the first place. But... Those are the two things that are coming up, guys. And if I don't get to them, you know I'm going to share it with you, maybe. If I'm not too embarrassed. But definitely getting that uh, space taken care of. Because I I, I feel like um, we have a small home anyway. We've got an acre and a half of land, so that's pretty good. But, you know, when you have a home, you kind of want to use all the available space possible. And that's just space that's not being used. And I wish to... You know, I wish to use it. So that's it. I just wanted to come in and have a chai chat with you all. And I am very appreciative of all of you. Thank you so much. You guys have been um, a lifesaver. And I hope, oh, and I hope you had a wonderful um, holiday, holidays actually. And I hope it was filled with a lot of love and a lot of um, good times and great food and wonderful conversations because I just hope you all were as blessed as I was over the holidays. So anyway, that's it. I'm done talking. Thank you so much for watching. And, watching. and um, until we meet again, you guys stay well in mind, body, and soul. Bye. <laughs>